July 2004. What's happening, Mama? I'm sitting here in the day room thinking about my baby, and I hope she is thinking about me. And I want to say that our visit was all tight. I was glad that you came back to see me. That kiss at the end of our visit was the bomb. That's the type of shit that be keeping my dick hard. You haven't gave me a good one like that in a while. It was definitely an eye opener of what's ahead of me in the future. Daddy is going to have it good when he gets out. You're going to have me straight tripping when I get out there, trapped in a room with no clothes on. I hope that you had a nice trip home. If something was to happen to you, I would go crazy up in here. That's the type of drama that I don't need up in my life. That's why I only think of good things and no bad things ever. I put Chrissy and Brian on my visiting list this week. They will probably be on there between now and two weeks. Say, baby, speak of the devil. Today when they passed out mail, they passed out my new visitation list. They put Chrissy and Brian on there. So next time you come see me, they will be on the list. I'm going to tell you now, if you think Brian is going to come up in here tripping, don't bring him with you. I don't need nothing to get in the way of my parole. My freedom is real important to me, baby. But I ain't going to lie. I really want to meet him and Chrissy. I just don't want any problems out these folks here. It's going to be all good, though, because soon we will be staying together. Love you, baby. Daddy. At the visit with Darnell, I asked him if I could visit Carl. He was upset by my request, but finally said he did not care. I wrote, July 3rd, 2004. Hey, baby. I am well and safe. We got caught in the rain, but we made it in here. Brian drove all the way home. I was on pins and needles for a while, but thoughts about that kiss and feeling you against my tummy consumed me all the way home. I still get wet thinking about that shit. <laughs> I love you, baby. I forgot to tell you that on the way there, when Brian and I stopped for gas and snacks, he looked at me and said, I can't believe you drive this far to see no nigga. Baby, for a, fil for a split second, I felt like a fool. Then, as I looked at him and thought about the love he has for me that makes him drive me this far to see some nigga and sit two hours until I come out, I smiled in my heart. Love makes you do crazy things. And when I ask you to let me do something, I know I can do whatever I want to do and nothing but God can stop me. I ask you in that manner because I will do nothing to cause you to leave me. And if you say no, I won't do it. I'm too afraid you will not love me and leave me if I do. Surely I could lie, but that ain't me. I ain't the one to be lying. I am not going to visit unless Carl sends me the money to do so. That is another opportunity to see you. So if I go, I will be honest with you about it. After we talked about it, I wanted to hear you say, I love you, because I knew I had irritated you by asking if I could go visit. Even though I knew I had hurt you, I still wanted to hear you say you love me. And when you would not actually say it, I was hurt and mad. My insecurities were showing. I'm sorry, baby. But the kiss and hug you gave me before I left will haunt me until our next visit. Baby, you tasted and felt so good. And when you said, I love you, that time my whole body tingled. I'm counting the days, baby. I plan to come back and see you next month, okay? Smooches. See. Darnell did not want me to or like when I would talk about Tyrone or visiting other prisoners. I could tell he was hurt by his reactions. I tried to convince him that he was number one in my heart and mind no matter what. I even sent him the letters I wrote to others and let him know what they replied to no avail. He said don't send him that shit because he didn't want to hear it. I could relate to what he was saying so I stopped mentioning what I was doing. With whom and when. I figured the less he knew the better. 
but I would always keep it real with him if the subject came up. All right. Whoo, that is chapter 19. Chapter 19. Now the next chapter is going to be chapter 20, Still in the Midst. All right. I'm going to get a little breakfast and I'll be back. Smooches.